Okay, so the next part um, is to create your uh, um, intersect. And so we're going to do that uh, by, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and make my school buffer filled again so that I can see it easily. Okay, and I'm going to zoom in to that area or not. Okay, there we go. Okay, this time I'm going to go up to Geoprocessing and choose Intersect. And I want to intersect two features, the buffers and the census data. So I'm going to choose them both. So I've got my school buffer and I have my school or the census data and then I want to uh, create a new polygon that I want to make sure that I set into my data called, uh, let's see, I don't know what I told you to call it on the lab and it doesn't really matter as long as you know what you called it and you can find it when you need to find it. So there you go, and I'm going to choose OK or not, save, and I'm not going to, I'm going to keep all the defaults. Now, I got a positive, down below there is a, uh, I get a little hammer with a check sign, which means my buffer worked well. So here's my school intersect. If I turn everything off, I can see that it picked up um, those areas uh, of the census data and I can um, go in and symbolize those by my kids and um, I'm going to just zoom in on, on one. So there you go. So I've got uh, the number of kids in that census area. And if I wanted to, I could use the select feature and select just those census um, polygons. And I could do a summary or statistics and I could find out how many kids are in that particular um, block. Okay, I can go to my maps and I want to make sure that I set this one up for landscape. And these look really small but you'll be surprised when you get them all on the map. Um, they work pretty well. I can uh, turn on my um, Oops, show by content. I could put on my water layer. Um, I might be able to put on uh, the road layer. Ooh, that's bad. Put that road layer on there. Um, you're going to have to play around with some cartography on this guy to uh, make it work for you. And I'll give you some examples of some good maps. Um, so you can create uh, basically, let's see if I could just, you can't see it very well. So what you want to do is to create um, a map showing the number of elementary school kids within one mile of each of these schools. You're going to add a title. Um, one thing you can do with the